But Kristen Holgate said she would really like to have the job back. And it was interesting to note that the head of human resources was sitting right alongside her. That's the, head, the current head of human resources at Australia Post sitting right alongside her yesterday in that meeting, acting in a personal capacity. So quite fascinating. But one final point for you, and that is who on earth, if you're sitting out there today, and the Prime Minister came and tapped you on the shoulder and said, now is the time for, do, for you to do your duty for the country and to come and run this government business. Who on earth would do it? For goodness sakes, this year there have been expenses scandals that have turned out not to be expenses scandals with three people. So, first of all, you've got Christine Holgate. Then you've also got the next person, James Shipton, the chairman of ASIC, who was forced to stand down and then resigned as a result of an expenses scandal when it was shown that he was quite within his rights to spend that money. And this man, Daniel Crennan, the man who was the head of enforcement at ASIC, who was there to basically take on the Royal Commission and send people to the courts and send them to jail if there was wrongdoing. He's also gone as a result of an expenses scandal that wasn't an expenses scandal. So who on earth in the private sector would ever do a government job when the rules can change so sharply and as a result of a political whim? Uh, absolutely extraordinary. Do you think then, in terms of flow-on effects, it will affect the attitude of senior exec executives in private enterprises? How can it not? Yeah. They go to a job where they're paid less, where there's more accountability in Senate committees, 